Hey coders, my name is here. Today we're going to be looking into how to install data packs as a good third of my comments are asking that. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here I have a sample data pack to demonstrate this with and I have my .minecraft folder open. Now I have this pinned because I access this a lot, but if you don't, there's a couple links in the description on depending on your OS type, how to access this folder. So you're going to want to extract here press and then inside here there are three folders not all data packs have a resource pack or have a generated file so for this one let's just look straight at the data pack and you know it's the data pack because right inside the folder is another folder named data for the resource pack it'll be called assets and generated because it's completely different now that we know which folder is the data pack we can select this and then go over here. So to first we have to click on saves and find whatever world we want to download this into. So we've been to part one. Click data packs, this is empty. You just drag it over. There you go. Should be automatically enabled. If not, you can always go in game and use slash data pack enable in whatever the name is. Now we need to install our resource pack. Here we have a resource pack right here, we know because assets is right inside. In Minecraft, you're gonna go to resource packs, and then you'll just want to hold on to this and drop it right in there. I already have it there. So then inside Minecraft here, go to options, resource packs, and simply drag it over until it's in selected, and then click done. I'll do a little Lastly, if this data pack has my customizable crafters, so there'll be a third folder called generated. This contains all the recipes in the crafter system. So you'll need to go back to saves and you'll need to find your world. And in here, you just drag the generated folder. If you have loaded the data pack in this world before putting in the generated folder, you'll need to use the command function namespace colon load all crafters after putting the generator folder because then that extracts the data from that file. That's about it for today folks. Thank you for watching and as always, keep coding.